It's a goal for West Ham. He's got plenty of space. Nice cut. He gets around the keeper. That's just beautiful. Beautiful. Fado. Fado could be in here on his left leg. Fado. Oh my goodness! It's a goal. down, has to come on the attack on the far side, the ball is headed in, it's in the back of the net, it's a goal, it's a goal for Lansdowne, oh nice ball, inside, ball right across the face of the goal, and it's another one, it's another one, Yonkers fire pipes and drums now. Sir 
I met Joe at work. I had a brand new Camaro. He had a little Honda, or I, I don't know. We were leaving work one day and he said, uh, can I see your car, you know, the KC car? So he, he wanted to sit in it. He took it, he took it around the corner at work and then drove up to me, threw his keys out and said, follow me. So I had to follow him, follow him all the way home. <laughs> He told me on our, our first date, he was going to marry me, that it, I would be a good mother. There was a competitiveness about him, too. Like, I didn't let him win at Scrabble. Save his ass just to bug me. And <laughs> he will always make jokes with my oldest daughter that daddy's going after the bad guys. I'm going to catch the bad guys. Because they used to like watching superhero movies. So dedicated to everything that he did. So being a dad just made him, I guess it made him a better person, but he was already a great guy. Oh, it's Easter week. Okay, I was a teacher, right? I was home. I said goodbye to him around 12 o'clock. He was going into work early. He was working for a friend. There was a routine fire. They use that word, routine fire, down by the Holland Tunnel. The fire had smoldered for a long time, but in went John and two young firefighters, Christopher Seidenberg and Jimmy Young. They hadn't even begun their lives yet. Nothing worked. They couldn't get water out of the hydrant. There was traffic by the Holland Tunnel. Holes were not put in the right place and he had tried to knock through this big, heavy metal security door. It had been double bolted. He almost got it. Jimmy was dead. They didn't even recognize that he was a firefighter at first. Christopher died the next morning. John's burned over 65% of his body very, very deeply. Nobody expected him to live it. You know, as he laid in the hospital those 40 days, except the people that knew him. They were doing the 12th surgery at the time he died. He would have had a, a really, really challenging life. My father was a police officer. My husband's father was a fireman. His brother was a fireman. All our friends were cops and firemen. That was our life. Well, on September 11th, it was election day, school day. I put my two kids on the bus, Joe and Jim, and I came home with John. The FedEx guy told me that the Twin Towers was just hit by a plane. I immediately went into my, my sergeant and said, I have to go into Manhattan. My husband's not answering the phone. My friend from the precinct, Susie, said, Commissioner Dunn is looking for you. So we went to police headquarters and when I got there, my parents were there, my in-laws were there. That's when they told us that they were missing. They found Joe about October 18th or 19th. I sat the kids down and told them that uh, their father was dead. My husband was part of the NYPD for 17 years. When COVID hit, I was very nervous about it. I, when he would come home, I would be spraying, asking him to take everything in the garage. One night, he told me that I think my partner had COVID. So I think I had been exposed. So I said, Okay, so I'm gonna have to go with the girls so you, that you could have the whole house to yourself. And the whole time I watched him on FaceTime. He texted me one morning. He said, I can't get out of bed. His oxygen was still not where it needed to be for them to ho hospitalize him. He battled with COVID about two, two and a half weeks. I meditate and I think about my feelings and 
I cry if I need to. And then when I go to bed, I say, oh, there was purpose. Elena did this. Ella did that. Eric would have been so proud if he saw that. That gives me purpose to make their day go well. When Answer the Call gave me a call, I was still now home. I was still in a time of uncertainty. Like, what am I gonna do? Because my husband did everything for us. Life doesn't stop because of what you're going through. You, things still have to get done. And as a mom, to know that Answer the Call is gonna be there for me through our lives now, it feels like I'm not alone. You don't wanna sit home and grieve. So the best therapy that I found was being with other people with the same circumstance. When we went to the Mets game and Alina threw the first pitch, she's like, I threw the ball as hard as I could. She said, Mommy, did you hear them say Daddy's name? And she was so proud. Now it's funny how Alina and him used to go watch these superhero movies. They remind our kids that, hey, we remember your dad. Your dad was a hero. It's different being the mother of a police officer because as an adult, these, they're still my children. They both, uh, they both want to do what their dad did. I'm just like living life to make sure that my kids are set. And I feel that Answer to Call did that for us when Joe died. I remember looking at that first check and I think it was for $10,000. And I looked at it and I looked at it don't think I had ever seen so much money in my life. 27 years later, they still send me a lovely letter and a check to be used for my family as a symbol that John Drennan's life wasn't in vain. They have always, always remembered and I'm most grateful for them. Thank you for helping our family. Thank you for never forgetting. Thank you for answering the call.
founding members of the Lansdowne, and that was, um, <laughs> it's great that uh, in 1993 we found the club, and um, the, the, the spirit's always been the same, you know, uh, keep the uh, <laughs> keep the good times rolling, and uh, the Lansdowne's a, a, a storied club that celebrated their 30th anniversary, and now my two sons play here. I've uh, had the great privilege of uh, coaching at Fordham University for uh, many, many years. And uh, I think that we're going to have a lot of fun uh, uh, recruiting and bringing Lansdowne back to prominence in, uh, in the New York rugby landscape. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's something that, uh, that, before I did anything, I had to ask my sons if it was okay to, you know, to coach them because uh, uh, I could be a little tough. So I want to make sure it was all right with them because they're wearing the boots. And uh, they thought it was great. And it, it is. It's a real honor. It's a real honor to... Uh, to, to, to coach the Lansdowne. Uh, I'll tell you, the, the goals are real simple. There's um, the long-term goal and the short-term goal are the same. We're going to win our next game.
putt. You're on. Okay, we're ready? Yeah. All right. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today we have a treat for you. We have a round robin today. We have New York's finest, the NYPD, uh, Lansdowne, and Morris. And we have an added treat. We have an old boys game between uh, Lansdowne old boys and Morris old boys at, I think it begins at 12, half 12, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is a real treat for me. Uh, I love the cops. My father was a New York City uh, narcotics detective way back when. So, um, and we also have a former Lansdowne player, Patty Daly, who is a heroic detective, works Midtown uh, on the NYPD team. So this is a real treat for me. I'm delighted that uh, to be able to do the commentary for this game. We're at uh, Tibbetts Brook Park, and we're about to have the kickoff of the first match. We have approximately, let's do a time check here. It is approximately 11.09, and um, we're off to the races, ladies and gentlemen. So... Okay, I smell. No, no, I'm going to start the first half off. It's a preset. That button? Um, I, I set that first. Uh, it says first half off. And then I preset it, and then... Uh, it's very blustery today. We're going to see a, the kicks are going to be all over the place. Yeah, I'm looking for my uh, my recorder. I can't find it. I have a recorder on the phone, unfortunately. Let's see. Outlook. Wallet spoof. We're about to kick off. The referee is getting ready. Okay. Voice recorder. Great. We have it. Okay, kickoff is at 11-11. Nice round number. Uh, 11-11 is the kickoff. Uh, lands in after the ball. There's a rubber kick that's going into the uh, in goal. The uh, NYPD fullback just ran it down. We will have... Um, Looks like it's going to be a scrum. The referee saw something he didn't like, and it's going to be a scrum to the uh, New York's finest. Oh no, it's a penalty, I think. All right, well, uh, let's see how this unfolds. Yes, it's scrum to the NYPD, and it is uh, just outside the uh, the NYPD um, 22. So we're getting ready to get set the ball in. All right, the Lansdowne scrum is pretty dominant. The referee hasn't blown a whistle yet. Lansdowne have stolen the ball. Wow. Offsides by the uh, the scrum half, so Dylan is uh, he pondered uh, uh, 
quick tap, but he decided not to. So Mr. Shawnee Stones will be kicking into touch. His left hand, his left footed boot angled quite nicely towards the uh, the touch line. Absolute stellar kick by Sean. So it'll be a Lansdowne line out deep inside uh, NYPD territory. Okay, the lineout successful for Lansdowne is a rolling ball right now. Some activity in close. Okay, the referee has just spotted a knock forward by Lansdowne right in front of goal. Okay, so the kickoff was at 11-11. Uh, Lansdowne got the ball, but unfortunately, uh, Lansdowne turned the ball over uh, deep inside NYPD territory due to a knock forward. So the NYPD have just gotten, uh, have just kicked into touch and have a lineup. the uh, NYPD preparing to uh, throw the ball in. Such a blustery win. Will affect the lineouts and the kicks. Lands out of stolen. Lands out of stolen. Um, I don't know who that is. Just came down with the ball. Um, Owen Foynes to, it looks like Leo. And there's another ruck. That's the second phase of this drive. Owen Foynes again to Dylan. Dylan's going to throw it all the way out wide. Uh, great tackle by the NYPD, uh, the winger. Fantastic tackle. It was a complete open field tackle, and he managed to slam your man down. Uh, here we have Owen uh, McCarthy on the on the go. It looks as though uh, nope. There was a penalty against uh, New York's finest. Dylan Casey's running. Quick tap, taking it into goal, um, right in front of goal. So, beautiful run by Dylan. He. A sublime dummy. Uh, this looks like Gerardo. I'm not sure, but it looks like Gerardo Febles. And uh, again, there's uh, activity in goal. This is the about the fifth phase of the attack. Okay, it looks like Leo is on the attack right in front of goal. Uh, might be a turnover. I think he's going to call a knock. Nope. Uh, maybe he called hands in the rock. I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, Lansdowne have the ball just in front of goal on the attack again. <clears throat> okay, Lansdowne are opting for a kick into touch, which means that Lansdowne have a line out very close at the five meter. So I think it looks like Nick, uh, Nick Yuan is playing uh, hooker today. He's the number two. Nick, of course, a very accomplished player in an extremely short amount of time. Nick, despite the fact he's only been playing for about five years, is already a fantastic player. So Nick's about to throw it in. Here we go. One of the finest is hurt. It looks like he. It looks like he hurt his ankle. Uh, here's another ruck. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, rolling mall. Uh, can't see from this angle, but I think Lansdowne have turned it over. You okay, bud? God bless. Me. Okay, uh, what we have here is uh, NYPD did a really valiant defensive effort, really good stuff by the MB. They turned the ball over, and um, they're on the attack. Uh, and Lansdowne, as I just said that, Lansdowne turned the ball over, and they got the ball back. A great offload. It looked like, um, it looked like from that pass came from Dylan to uh, Owen, right? Yeah, it's okay, um, we had a great assist 
by Dylan. So, um, in minute eight, uh, Dylan stole the ball, came down and offloaded it to Owen Murphy. Owen slammed down into goal, lands down around now at five points to, to nil. Shawnee Stones has converted the try. So Lansdowne are up seven points to nil in minute nine. Okay. So Lansdowne will get the ball back. Again, with a swirling wind. You probably can hardly hear me due to the crazy wind. It's a mighty big fella kicking it off. That is a big man. Looks more like a second row. Uh, that's a knock forward by Lansdowne. The ref didn't see it, but it didn't matter because NYPD has the ball back. Uh, NYPD has a ruck. This is the first phase. Okay. Another very large man. He's got to be second row, but the ball was stolen. I don't know who that is. The Lan Oh, that's, that's Owen Murphy. The lands on number eight, the ball is kicked directly into touch, so it's going to be a line out from over here. Uh, the NYPD get the ball back uh, right near the exact same position in which they initially had uh, possession before it was stolen. So no gain on either side. New York's finest have the line out. Uh, it looks, let's see, yes, we're talking at the uh, the 22. All right, the ref has instructed the lens on the back up. I guess they were off sides. And here comes the NYPD line out. Okay, the ball, the wind is playing havoc, absolute havoc. That ball was, it, it was thrown straight and the wind just blew the ball back. So lands on, have a line out and it's, it's Nick's turn to deal with this swirling wind. Absolute killer of wind. So Nick getting ready, set. Uh, wow, he, he navigated that wind quite well. I think he threw right between the actual gust. So that's how he did that. The NYPD fellow was unfortunate where he he didn't have that uh he didn't have that luxury it's crazy this wind this is going to play havoc all game long uh G george on the attack fantastic center uh offload again i can't see who it is it's on the other side of the pitch uh lens have just arrived at at the halfway line uh can't be a knock forward because it didn't hit him in the hand and wow look at owen foynes really tough tough-minded player just a tough kid and it's going to be a, a penalty to Lansdowne. I didn't. I think it was an infringement. I'm not sure. Perhaps ends in the ruck. Again, my angle isn't isn't quite well, uh, quite good. So unfortunately, I couldn't discern what the uh, call was there. Uh, but Lansdowne have a penalty, and we're going to see another kick into touch by Mr. Sean Stones. Uh, now, folks, just a reminder: what's going on is the games. We're doing a 20-minute because it's a round robin. Everybody gets two games. We're technically playing half game, so everybody gets a, a game. And so Lansdowne will have, uh, Lansdowne and the NYPD have 20-minute uh, halves here. And the same will happen with Lansdowne and Mars. So a tremendous kick by Sean. Uh, Lansdowne now have a throw into, uh, into, t into touch. What's up, bud? How you doing? Hi, man. I hear great things about Johnny. Yeah, that's great. Oh, is that puppy cold? Are oh, you cold? Oh, here. She can wear my coat for a little while because I'm not cold. I'm, you sure? Oh. Okay, so it's a throw in for Lansdowne. Um, 
right now we have another good one. Nick has been a marvel. He's been perfect on about five throw-ins. Th throws in. Yeah. Okay. I think I think they're gonna call. I don't know what the call is. Uh, Owen was short of goal. Um, maybe he was stripped up because he called against. Um, he called it against the NYPD and for land sound. I didn't see it, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. But um, land sound will have. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, Shorty Stones opted to kick the ball into touch. There'll be another line out. Um, again, it's all about the timing on the line out. So, due to the swirling wind. And there isn't much protection here at Tibbetts. Everything's pretty much wide open. So. All right, another successful lands on line out. Here comes the ball. And that's Shawnee Stones on the attack. Is that Sean? Or is that Geraldo? I can't see. Uh, this far away. Okay, number six. That is Owen Murphy again. All right, so we have another breakdown. We have a, another phase. And Dylan... Oh, oh, George, I think George saw the, Dylan has been magnificent in today's game, uh oh, uh, let's see what the call, okay, um, the call is against Lansdowne, perhaps a forward pass, I didn't see, um, I haven't seen the referee indicate what the call might be, but the ball is in possession of New York's finest right now. Shawnee Stone's coming out. I think he's a little bit banged up. Although we're allowing another thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're allowing rolling subs today, so that's another good aspect of today. People, hopefully nobody gets hurt because everybody gets some game time and we can stretch the use of all the players. Okay, so the ref saw something in the scrum. Uh, so we're going to reset. Uh, okay, the resetting of the scrum. Referee again didn't see something you like. Perhaps the guys weren't lining up properly. That's what it, uh, it would indicate to me. My angle isn't the best, but... Okay, big scrum by Lansdowne. They're pushing hard. Uh, but the NYPD, very fortuitive. They managed to get the ball out in a hurry, and they're on the attack. They have some very large men. I mean, even their backs are big. Okay, there's another penalty to the NYPD. Uh, Lansdowne may have infringed again, and it's going to be a kick out by uh, New York's finest. Patty Daly, who was a, a heroic player for Lansdowne back in the day, uh, now plays for the NYPD. But he, ladies and gentlemen, he always talks about retiring, so hopefully he'll never retire. That's a high tackle by Lansdowne. The ref let it go because uh, he didn't grab NYPD on the attack again. Another very large man. Oh, look at that. Lansdowne have been very... Oh, just knocked it forward, yeah. That'll be a scrum to the NYPD. Uh, I think it was Geraldo who stole it, but unfortunately, Lansdowne knocked it forward. So, this is going to be a scrum to uh, the men in blue. Okay, so... Uh, here comes the scrum. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, we are close to the half. Um, 
It started at 111. It's 1128. So we are in the 18th minute. There's only about three minutes left in the half. He'll probably tack another minute on. Hopefully nobody's hurt. Um, somebody may have. I think he's bleeding. Yeah, he got a. He got a. He got rocked in the eye. That's a blood sub. So another very large man is out there. <laughs> they got some big guys. So here comes the scrum uh, towards the end of the half. You okay, bud? You okay? Okay, so the scrum, Lansdowne scrum has been dominant. They, uh, and they have retained the ball. Uh, and the ball is out. Yep, that ball was out. That was, here comes Geraldo again. Oh, he's a load. Oh, he's some player. The ball is loose again. There have been a lot of ball, uh, balls have come out. I didn't see the play. The referee saw something that the NYPD did, did that he didn't like. So uh, perhaps a high tackle, he motioned by his neck. Uh, so, I think what we're going to see is perhaps a quick tap. I'm not sure. Nope. Kick into touch. What we're going to see is a line out. So, uh, Lansdale will have a five meter line out, um, and we're close to the death. We are only technically with a minute away from the death. So, Here comes the throw, Land successful lands down line out. Uh, lands down a mauling. The rolling maul is in motion. For, they're only about five meters out. And uh, still engaged. Uh, big shove by lands down. And that is a try. Wow. That is a try. And that try was scored by Nick Yuan. So basically at the depth, at the death, lands down had just scored a try, which right now puts him up. So this try out of a rolling mall, uh, a very effective mall, Lansdowne would, they looked very professional in their approach to this mall. And what we're about to have now, Lansdowne are up, uh, the try by Nick Yuan puts Lansdowne up by 12 points to nil. And the kick at goal is no good. So what we have right now is 12 points uh, to nil to Lansdowne. And the ref is allowing it to continue because it looks like the, the, the clock is up. Okay, so Lansdowne will get the ball back again. Lansdowne will get the ball back again, uh, just at the depth. And uh, here we go. Here comes the kickoff. This is rather interesting. Sean, how much is left? Did it go 10? Yes. Oh, lands on play. It just uh, came down with it. Looks like Owen Murphy again. Who, Owen's had a very, very active, terrific game on his part. Here comes Dylan again. Lovely pass. Uh, I, I think that was Connor McCarthy who came down with the ball there, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, here comes a big ruck, and the MIPD may have, oh, his hands in the ruck again. I suppose because they were rucking and it looked like he reached in, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I didn't have the best angle. So, Shawnee, Sean, Sean. How much is left? It's time already. Three minutes, okay. Okay, so what we have here, uh, lands down uh, an infringement by the MRPD, uh, causes a, a ball to be kicked into touch. Um, here's another line out in close, a very good platform for the Lansdown attack as Nick uh, sets up to throw the ball in again amidst the really swirling wind again. So here comes the throw. All right, uh, another successful line out. 
Here we go. All right, ball out wide to George. Okay, did he knock it forward? Yes, he did. All right. All right, so I think that is the end of the half. So it is Lansdowne uh, are up 12 nil at the half. Be back in a few, ladies and gentlemen. I met Joe at work. I had a brand new Camaro. He had a little Honda, I, I don't know. We were leaving work one day and he said, uh, can I see your car, you know, the key C car? So he, he wanted to sit in it. He took it, he took it around the corner at work and then drove up to me, threw his keys out and said, follow me. So I had to follow him, followed him all the way home. <laughs> he told me on our, our first date, he was gonna marry me, that. He, I would be a good mother. There was a competitiveness about him too. Like I didn't let him win at Scrabble. Save his ass just to bug me. And <laughs> he will always make jokes with my older daughter that daddy's going after the bad guys. I'm gonna catch the bad guys. Cause they used to like watching superhero movies. So dedicated to everything that he did. So being a dad just made him I guess it made him a better person, but he was already a great guy. Oh, it's Easter week. Okay, I was a teacher, right? I was home. I said goodbye to him around 12 o'clock. He was going into work early. He was working for a friend. There was a routine fire. They use that word, routine fire, down by the Holland Tunnel. The fire had smoldered for a long time, but in went John and two young firefighters, Christopher Seidenberg and Jimmy Young. They hadn't even begun their lives yet. Nothing worked. They couldn't get water out of the hydrant. There was traffic by the Holland Tunnel. Holes were not put in the right place. And he had tried to knock through this big, heavy metal security door. It had been double bolted. He almost got it. Jimmy was dead. They didn't even recognize that he was a firefighter at first. Christopher died the next morning. John's burned over 65% of his body very, very deeply. Nobody expected him to live. You know, as he laid in the hospital those 40 days, except the people that knew him. They were doing the 12th surgery at the time he died. He would have had a, a really, really challenging life. My father was a police officer. My husband's father was a fireman. His brother was a fireman. All our friends were cops and firemen. That was our life. Well, on September 11th, it was election day, school day. I put my two kids on the bus, Joe and Jim, and I came home with John. The FedEx guy told me that the Twin Towers was just hit by a plane. I immediately went into my, my sergeant and said, I have to go into Manhattan. My husband's not answering the phone. My friend from the precinct, Susie, said, Commissioner Dunn is looking for you. So we went to police headquarters and when I got there, my parents were there, my in-laws were there. That's when they told us that they were missing. They found Joe about October 18th.
That was really lovely. The George Dillon combo clicked again. George made a, a dummy and a lovely offload uh, and flung it out wide to Dillon, who touched down. And ladies and gentlemen, we are at the death again. Um, touchdown. Uh, let's see. Uh, that try makes it 36 points to nil. So we have 36 points to nil at the death with the attempted goal. This should end the match. I'm sorry, I didn't hear Jason. You want me to hold this? Okay, yeah, can I reach it? Because I got the... Uh, Got it? Okay. Oh, good. Well, this has got to go on top of here. Okay, so... Oh, God. Did you, did you notice if he made the kick? He made it. Wow, great. 38 nil. yep. Uh, Shawnee converted this is final score 38 nil. Hi. 19th or 19th, I sat the kids down and told them that, uh, their father was dead. My husband was part of the NYPD for 17 years. When COVID hit, I was very nervous about it. I, when he would come home, I would be spraying, asking him to take everything in the garage. One night, he told me that I think my partner had COVID, so I think I have been exposed. So I said, okay, so I'm gonna have to go with the girls so you, that you could have the whole house to yourself. And the whole time I watched him on FaceTime. He texted me one morning, he said, I can't get out of bed. His oxygen was still not where it needed to be for them to ho hospitalize him. He battled with COVID about two, two and a half weeks. I meditate and I think about my feelings and I cry if I need to. And then when I go to bed, I say, oh, there was purpose. Elena did this. Ella did that. Eric would have been so proud if he saw that. That gives me purpose to make their day go well. When answer the call, gave me a call, I was still now home. I was still in a time of uncertainty. Like, what am I gonna do? Because my husband did everything for us. Life doesn't stop because of what you're going through. You, things still have to get done. And as a mom, to know that Answer the Call is going to be there for me through our lives now, it feels like I'm not alone. You don't want to sit home and grieve. So the best therapy that I found was being with other people with the same circumstance. When we went to the Mets game and Alina threw the first pitch, she's like, I threw the ball the hardest I could. She said, Mommy, did you hear them say Daddy's name? And she was so proud. Now it's funny how Alina and him used to go watch these superhero movies. 
they remind our kids that, hey, we remember your dad, your dad was a hero. It's different being a mother of a police officer because as an adult, these, they're still my children. They both, uh, they both want to do what their dad did. I'm just like living life to make sure that my kids are set. And I feel that Answer the Call did that for us when Joe died. I remember looking at that first check and I think it was for $10,000. And I looked at it and I looked at it. I don't think I had ever seen so much money in my life. 27 years later, they still send me a lovely letter and a check to be used for my family as a symbol that John Drennan's life wasn't in vain. They have always, always remembered and I'm most grateful for them. Thank you for helping our family. Thank you for never forgetting. Thank you for answering the call. Too. It's part of the match report as well. When we do the round robin, everybody gets included. So, and I'll get my recorder out. Can you hear me? Yeah. Great. I got the recorder out. Okay, what do we have here? Voice recorder. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to rock. The second uh, match of the day will be Morris uh, from New Jersey against the NYPD. Men from Morris, uh, actually the last game I ever played was with the Morris Old Boys 10 years ago. I was 52. And um, I played in Castle Island, which is in County Kerry in Ireland. And we played their Old Boys. Uh, we lost two tries to one, but we made a fitting uh, response to their size and their youth. They were a lot younger than we were and a lot bigger than we were. And we only lost by uh, one try. So it was a magnificent day. Everybody had a great time. And so the NYP up against Morris. And I will announce the kickoff shortly. If any of the Morris old fellows that I played with are here today, I saw them in Ireland recently. Uh, my buddy Mike and I went down to the uh, the Munster game uh, against the Crusaders, which Munster won, and uh, happened to uh, meet up with many of the Morris lads that I played with. Great bunch of guys. Okay, so no, it's not. I I, I heard too. I said. Land sound, but it's actually Mars V NYPD. Kickoff at 12.09. Um, unfortunately, the NYPD kicker, I think it was Patty, he kicked it directly into touch, which means it's going to be a scrum at the halfway line uh, to the men from Mars. Sorry, 12.08, rather. The kickoff was at 12.08. So, uh, about to embark. Scrum from uh, the halfway line. Okay, scrum from halfway line. It will be a scrum to the men from Mars.
Okay, the Morris fan coming out very fresh. Very nice scrum on that part, but a great defensive effort by the number nine from NYPD's finest. Uh, here's a phase. Okay, the men from Morris getting ready to whip the ball out. A very large center. This this guy's a big man. He looks a, an awful lot like Ali Yeager, the monster prop, who just came back to Ireland. Referee just made a call. He may have called a hands in the rock. I don't know. So the NYPD are getting ready to defend as the men from Mars are getting ready. We will have a kick into touch. A successful kick into touch by the men from Mars, which would indicate there was going to be a line out uh, to uh, the men in red, the Mars men. Okay, so here's the throw, successful throw. Okay, wow, the very mucky conditions, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the ground here is extremely mucky, very slippery, even though we're on grass. And um, yeah, oh, wow, well, great defense by Patty Daly. He uh, is trying to make it a choke tackle. Uh, the men from Mars still have the ball, though. But there have been a lot of slips, and the ball's been a bit greasy, which would... Uh, Encourage, oh, knocked forward by Morris. That's a ball, too. Okay, due to the fact that's a kick, uh, the Morris man just kicked it into touch um, because that meant the advantage was over. Uh, the kick into touch causes a line out opportunity for the, the uh, New York's finest. Swirling wind. Swirling. <laughs> I haven't seen a wind like this in ages. Okay, here's the throw. Successful line out to. Oh, wow. He called um, a line out for uh, Morris. I thought the Morris man kicked it at the touch. Okay, here's a high tackle against the NYPD. Um, another platform at the halfway line. An attacking platform. Um, unfortunately, there was a man in blue uh, on the pitch. Hopefully, he's okay. I can't see what he's holding from here. But, um, oh, he just, he's starting to get up. Thank God he's okay. Okay, wow, kicked it in field. Great response by uh, the... I think it's a fullback, either the fullback or the winger, because it was in the corner all the way in the back. And uh, there is a, okay, uh, there was some kind of, um, was that a high tackle? I don't know. I couldn't see. There was an awful lot of bodies in a small group. Okay, here comes the NYPD again. Uh, there's a tackle by the Mars Center. Lovely tackle, open field. Um, there's a bit of an overlap on the strong side as all of the NYPD attackers were on that side. There was nobody on the weak side. He's wearing number seven. He looks more like a second row, but I think he's lining up as a center. Very large man. Okay, here we go. Uh, there's a thunderous run, gained a couple of meters. Uh, did he make it available? Yes, he did. Okay, it may have been a knock forward. Nope, a couple of handing errors. Uh, that ball is greasy, everybody. Greasy. The only way to describe it. Playing havoc with anybody's ability to make a sustained attack. They haven't, in either game yet, there haven't been more than five or six phases in any specific attack. And a lot of that has to do with the inability of uh, maintaining possession due to the greasiness of the ball and also keeping good footing. All right. Now, here we go again. It's going to be a scrum to the men in blue, our own New York, New York's finest. Here's 
Here comes the, th the push in. Okay, big push. Ball comes out. Great hands by that center. He came up with that ball because that thing was... Talk about great hands. <laughs> Very impressive. Especially considering the circumstances. Okay, there was... Uh, it looked like uh, somebody infringed at the ruck. So here come Finest. Patty is kicking. Is it in or is it out? He kicked it directly out. So it's going to be another... Uh, it's going to be a ball to... Um, due to the fact that he kicked it directly into touch from outside the 22, just outside the 22, though. Uh, what is going to happen is that we're going to see a ball to the men in red. Lovely jerseys on the Morris ones. They always had some snazzy uh, apparel. Okay, here comes the throw-in. NYPD 2, beautiful stuff. Uh, the referee saw something he didn't like. Perhaps uh, everybody wasn't ready for the throw-in. So... Okay, successful line-out. Uh, always a well-drilled team. Morris always had a really, really terrific side, and uh, there's nothing to disprove that now. Okay, great tackle by the MMPD. Uh, there's another, uh, another phase. Wow, look at that, the out half. Oh, he's in. Wow, what a move. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, Morris have taken the lead in minute number nine. Okay. In minute nine, Morris have taken the lead. Uh, what we saw was a, an absolute beautiful try by the out half. He uh, exploited a gap and managed to snake his way in, but beautiful gallop from about 20 meters out. And uh, they just converted. So, it is now seven points to nil to uh, Morris Rugby. That was a magnificent run by the out half. Very speedy, and he dummied, uh, dummied once, and ran in for the try. Champagne rugby on his part. Okay, here's the kickoff. It looks like it was short, but the ref's going to let it go due to the fact that uh, Morris have retained possession. So I guess that was like an advantage kick. And um, here's the second phase. Okay, Morris on the attack. Really good attackers, but the NYP defense has been absolute stout. Doesn't hurt that they have some big guys too. The referee saw something that he did not like. The NYPD uh, saw something he did not like. So I think there's going to be a replacement in second round. Okay, um, it's going to be a penalty tomorrow, so there's going to be a kick into touch. So, Okay, the ball was kicked into the air, went on to touch. I think that's going to belong to, let's see what the touch judge says. It's going to be, it looks like, a line out to the men in red, a Morris line out.
Marissa's set pieces have been wonderful. I think they're perfect on the line on Sunday day so far, and they've had like four or five. So here comes the attack again. All right. Outside center, gained nifty run there. Gained some uh, meters. Uh, does a bit of a ruck. Okay, balls out again. There's a knock forward. That ball, that ball belongs to the NYPD. Again, a wind uh, playing havoc. Are you going to play in the old boys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me, and, me and nine, Joseph at 10. We got the Giordano on that. Excellent, excellent. And uh, I saw Pat the Baker walk by a little while ago. John Farrell? Oh, my God. Yeah, no, no. He's ready to rock. Is the old boys game next and then the final game? Okay. Okay. Who? Jerry bought his boots? Now... What's it, are the cops going to stick around or are they leaving? Oh, good. They're going to stick around. Great. Great, great. And we should, uh, will we have a, a, what do you call it, some kind of fundraiser for... Yeah, we we to okay. Wow, dominant uh, scrum by the men in red. <laughs> but the NYPD have come down with the ball again. The NYPD are very good at stealing ball today. They've done it all day long. They've stolen tons of ball. Okay, again. Wow, look at this. They've just gained literally like 40 meters in a very short amount of time. Wow, that way it almost blew that ball into oblivion. I can't believe that play. The NYPD, I think it was... I think it was the out half. I can't believe that he came down with that pass because the wind almost blew it into oblivion. Okay, the referee saw something he did not like against the police. Uh, so he just blew the whistle. The men in red will have the ball back. Okay, here comes the kick. Oh, no, he chose to uh, tap it. He chose to tap it. <laughs> How you doing, brother? <laughs> good, good, good. Wow, what a run. Look at, oh my God. Wow. Wow. In minute 14, uh, the out half chose to tap it instead of kicking into touch, and it worked out well because I think it was the Morris outside center. Fantastic run from about 40 meters out. So the score right now is 12 points to nil in minute 14 going on minute 15 and here comes the uh, kick at goal for the men in red The wind just blew that attempt uh, way wide. Um, it is still 12 points to nil to uh, the men in red, to Morris Rugby. Okay, here comes the kick. Kick off. That went 10. Uh, so, wow. NYPD came down with it. Really good stuff for the NYPD. Perhaps they can, this can translate to some uh, points. Oh my God, that second row just pancaked the Mars. The Mars uh, 7. Wow. That was some run. He gained a few meters on that. Patty Daly comes back in. Here comes the rock. They got to get the ball out, which they do. Great play by the scrum half. Uh, the out half does a juke. Uh, gets a little space. And now the ball is to the NYPD. Perhaps a high tackle. Okay, quick tap. Wow. Some very large men colliding here. 
NYPD have, um, I think, the deepest territory in this game. And they're right in front of goal. Some se Several really impressive phases to the out half. Okay. Some big bodies here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, Morris have stolen it. But no, the NYPD have gotten it back. That was definitely hands in the ruck. An infringement by... Uh, our uh, uh, by Morris and uh, the NYPD are about to attack here. There we go. It's going to be a quick tap. Uh oh, the referee saw something he didn't like. I think he saw Morris were off sides. Um, he's going to blow the whistle shortly, I think, because he's pointed at his his watch a couple of times uh well we still have a few minutes left okay here come the nypd good advance by the nypd it looks like they might have a shot here wow it looks like they might oh they're not over the line but they're close to it but uh they were held up Something like a choke tackle, but everybody's moving forward, so nobody's standing still. Ladies and gentlemen, the muck is everywhere. It is really mucky. Okay, so the ball belongs to the NYPD still. Uh-oh, somebody's about to get a yellow card. Woo, baby! Uh-oh. going to take the points. Sorry? He dropped his draws there for a second. Yeah, that happens a lot. Okay, the NYPD have opted to take a kick at goal. Uh, there's only about two minutes left in the half. And the, NY the NYPD have decided to kick the ball. Patty's going to take it, it looks like. He should wait until the wind dies down because otherwise, not going to make it over. He takes it, missed it, damn. Okay, hoping to get on the board there. So right now it is still, uh, it is still 12 points to nil to uh, Morris. And there is, uh, on the clock there's a, a minute left. Oh, knock forward. The wind, again, it's... The wind is really playing with this game here. I think the wind is actually the star of the game. As it was in the other one. Okay, so here we go. Big push by Morris. Great hands, great hands by the out half. He's some player. They really have some class players. Uh, the referee saw something he did not like from Morris though, and um, the NYPD will get the ball back. <laughs> so perhaps they're deep in their own territory, but perhaps they can sustain a drive. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a minute and a half into extra time. Uh, I think he's 
just going to wait and see if um, if um, something started, although the infraction was against uh, Mars. So, how you doing? All right, the ball goes in. Big push by Morris, but the MRPD have gotten it out again because their out half, their scrum half is so quick. Okay, the outside center of the fullback, the number 15, but he was lined up in the center position. I'm not sure what position he's playing, but here comes the ball again to NYPD. Gang tackled, a little support, but it was too, got there a little, uh, split second too late. Got pushed back. Um, they're going to attempt to, that started as a high tackle, but the ref's going to let it go. So we will see, we will see. Don't know what the call is here. Uh, a little break in the action. Uh, oh, he blew the whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, the half is over. Uh, so we are at the half, and the score is 12 points to nil to uh, the men in red, to Morris Rugby. We'll see you in a few. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're prepping for the kickoff uh, for the second half. And uh, what's happening is, um, uh, let's see. Okay, the men from Morris are going to be kicking off to uh, the NYPD. Sorry? I said when he steps away, just hold the stand here and there because the wind's been crazy. He's got to tell me, though, when he's stepping away. When you're stepping away, tell me so I'll hold on to the stick. Thanks. Only because of the wind today. No, no, absolutely. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a swirling wind, young man. Okay, so the kickoff for the second half is at 12.34. So Morris have just kicked it deep. This is a deep kickoff. Uh-oh, the NYPD fella has just uh, knocked the ball forward. Yeah, like I said, I think, I think like, when you see it in action, you learn a lot better. I think I 
Okay, so right now we're going to have a scrum to Morris with a very good attacking platform because they're only, it looks like, wow, they're maybe 15 meters out. Setting up for the scrum. Here comes the push. And the NYPD scrum did well, but Morris were very quick and brought the ball out very quick. Uh, they're right in front of goal. Morris are a lovely run by, I don't know what which player that was, but he gained approximately eight or nine meters. That was a really nice run. So Morris are in front of goal, NYPD defending furiously. Another lifty little turn, that was... Did he make it? Yes, he did. Wow. Morris have just got a try in minute 22. Okay, after some sustained pressure by Morris, uh, after the turnover, they got the ball in close. So what happened was Morris um, got the ball in close, and uh, one fellow made a, a very nice run of about, nice, uh, about nine meters. And then afterwards... The men from Morris uh, ran it in from close. They have taken the lead. Um, the score is now 17 to nil. If the kick is good, it will be 19 to nil. Wow, made it. Despite a swirling wind, the uh, I guess he's the out half, I'm not sure. But the Morris fella kicked the ball over the bar, and the score right now is now 19 to nil to Morris. Hey, Joe, how are you? Nice to see you, brother. How you doing? Yeah, cheers. Okay, so here comes the kickoff from uh, the NYPD. Oh, great tackle. Oh, my God. Great tackle. He bodied him right down there. Morris are on the attack again. They recover extremely well. Wow, look at him. The winger. What great feet on him. Fantastic run. And the center now. Oh, he got tacked. Great tackle by the NYPD winger. Wow. He was definitely in had he not tackled him there. Um, the out half again, the NY, uh, the Morris out half has been a terror for the NYPD today. They are real deal. He is the real deal. Magnificent player. Okay, um, this is a foul against NYPD. So, uh, Morris are on the attack and they have another very, very good attacking platform because they're very close. Bring it out completely wide. It's going to be, uh, wow, yeah. Okay. A minute five, uh, there was a magnificent run. I think it was the out half by Morris, I'm not sure. Brought it down a good 30 meters right in front of goal. So three passes later, uh, the center, um, the outside center, I think it's the outside center. I know the numbers aren't matching up with some of the uh, positions, but it looked like he, well, he scored. It, I think it's the outside center, but they, they missed the conversion. But the score right now is... Um, what was that, a try or a penalty? It was a try, but uh, they didn't make it. Um, did you add the other one on? Yeah, it's 19 nil. Okay. Okay, so it's 19 points to nil to uh, the uh, Mars. No, no, he just kicked it now. Uh, no, he missed the kick. Oh, he missed it. Okay. Yeah. He drop kicked it. I'm surprised, but the wind is killing everything. So they didn't get another try. They got a try, but they missed the, the conversion. Oh, so then it's 24. Oh, it's 24. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. The score is 24 to nil to Morris. So Morris just got the ball back, but the NYPD defense has been very good. It's just the Mar the Morris. They're, they're like 
they're almost professional in their approach, Mars, because they just had that knack to make something out of nothing. And they very creative team, extraordinarily creative. That's why they're winning. But the MVPD have been absolutely resolute on defense and really giving it their all. So the score flatters uh, uh, Mars, but I mean, they, they just have magnificent players. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Wow, this guy's killing them. Wow. Jesus Christ, they have some real serious guys, man. Just two minutes later, uh, another... There, the Morris number 14 is serious. I mean, he is some player. Um, he just did another 30-meter gallop, and three or four passes later, guess what? Morris scored again. So the score right now is 29 to nil. Um, the kick is from straight out, although, again, the wind is, is terrorizing everybody today. The wind is not cooperating with anybody at all. So we'll see if he's going to make it at 29 to nil. And here comes the kick. Okay, again with the wind, uh, no uh, conversion. The score is still 29 to nil to the men from Mars. Didn't go 10. Okay, but the Morris man came down with it, so the ref will allow it, especially they're now 10 meters past that, the halfway line. Okay, Morris on the attack again. Uh, NYP to have to tackle better. They're not They're not wrapping. Yeah, they're, what they're trying to do is make contact first with the shoulder, then wrap, but they need to wrap first to slow down the progress of the runner. Okay, ball comes out. That really good out half. Look at that. Lovely offload. Great tackle by the uh, the NYPD there. Okay, he's another hook. Is, looks like he's going in, but he gets wrapped up by a really terrific player in that NYPD second row. Okay, another play out wide. This is a big time. Uh, that was a big time. Uh, um, uh, broke the seam there. He... And, uh, yep. Okay, sustained pressure again by Morris. Um, they're really some lovely rugby. The score is now 34 to nil to Morris. The subsequent kick at goal. He's right in front of goal again, but there was just a mighty overlap. That's essentially why um, they scored a lovely try because uh, they really got the guys out wide in a hurry. So... It's 34 to nil right now. <laughs> okay. Makes the kick. The score is 36 points to nothing to the men in red.
Okay, the kickoff. Oh, that's a knock forward. He's going to let... Yeah, that's a knock forward. So, on the kickoff... Uh, I've said it a million times, but the wind is blowing everything in every direction. Uh, the man from Mars knocked it forward. We're going to see a scrum to the men in blue, our own NYPD. And they're going to have a scrum from inside the 10 meter line of uh, Mars. So there is a good attacking platform for the men in blue to uh, make something happen here. Jason, the problem when the wind is blowing like this, anything goes in the air and it, the ball's going to be all over the place. Okay, so the only P to get it in quickly, but they got to get it out in a hurry. Yep, scrum half. Did he get in? There? Oh my God! Really courageous stuff by the NYPD scrum half. But the ball that's a little bit topsy turvy now. Okay, yeah, uh, knocked forward by uh, by the NYPD Morris ball now. Okay, so ah, Steve Murphy's here. Now we can have a rugby day. Steve Murphy has arrived. Rampaging Steve Murphy, the Lansdowne legend. He has arrived. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we're at minute 33 right now. Ah, thank you, sir. You are the best. Have you been home at all recently? Friday morning, Friday, Friday, Saturday, and then fucking fly out Sunday morning. Ah. Shell of a man for a week. I was in Cork for the Munster Crusaders match. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I didn't see Breed, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching. What? She's watching. Uh, yeah, she's watching. Cool. Hi, Breed. <laughs> Richie Price from New York. <laughs> Baby. Sorry? He loves the whistle. Yeah, yeah. Ah. He's a young ref. I think he's still finding his oats. I know the second row from the NYPD wasn't happy with him in uh, two games ago, or the last game. Oh, no, it was the first half of this game. So, thank you for the cerveza, my friend. Cheers. We don't say uh, slanch anymore. We say Abu. 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 How you doing? How's it feel to be out there? Yeah, it feels great. Have you been training? Yeah, I've been uh, to two of the last, two of the last four or five trainings. Fantastic. Welcome back. Now we got you back. Let's see if we get his brother back, and we're ready to rock. <laughs> we have shortened games what I love about these um, these uh, uh, round robins and shortened games is everybody is thinking attack 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 because of the fact that there's not a hell of a lot of time to make any points so people are thinking rather than let's slow the game down by kicking it out or whatever everybody's looking let's take this ball on and into contact immediately great hands that was just magnificent. I don't know how he came up with that ball. I don't know how he came That was absolutely magnificent. Okay, so the ref saw an advantage. NYPD has it. That's a big man. That's a big guy. This is a big guy, too. Big guys. Big guys. 
Somebody is hurt, I hope not badly. Somebody is hurt. Oh, this is not good. He looks like he is in pain. I hope he's okay. Uh, let's get a trainer out here. We don't have a trainer today. Oh, the fellow's massaging his leg, so hopefully it's just a cramp. Oh, here's a trainer. Good. Yeah, it looks like uh, he may have um, he may have had a cramp. So thank God he's okay. Looks like he's about to get up. Oh, thank God. Well, he's limping, but thank God he's okay. Thank God he's all right. He's in some pain, but hopefully not too serious. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Okay, so the NYPD have the ball. Um, we're going to see a little bit of a... Uh, wow, there are only about four minutes left in the match. Okay. Quick pass. Man goes into goes to ground. Turned the ball over right away, though. Turned it over right away. Okay, off to the races again. Some really lovely passing by Morris Rugby. Beautiful offloads, great hands. Oh, I don't know what who that player is with the green with the uh, red scrum hat, cap, but great hands. Wow, there's a turnover here. MYP to get the ball back. Great stuff. He's waiting for his teammates to get set. Everybody, there's a couple of guys that are a little slow getting to get up due to uh, uh, fatigue. Okay, NYPD. Uh, the prop came in and was gang tackled. Wow, very rough point of contact there. That was good. Ball comes out wide. It's a big guy here, too. Wow. The problem is they're not protecting the ball. Hands in the ruck. I guess he scored. Um, they haven't been really good in protecting the ball. Down to the wire here. There were only a couple of minutes left. Ooh, that guy. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Yeah, they much better response here on this ruck. Wow, that wind is killing the ball. down but at least um, he still maintained possession oh he held on to it beautiful hands got to stay in oh he got tackled into touch got tackled into touch okay Ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the final minute. He'll probably tack on two minutes because of injuries. The uh, Morris dominance at the set pieces are uh, Continues a really nice uh, clean line out, although there was no response by the NYPD to defend the line out themselves. They wanted to make sure they were ready to get on the ground once the ball came down. And uh, oh wow, look at this uh, a a turnover by the NYPD uh, for the NYPD uh, against Morris, and uh, they're on the attack again. They've been terrific at stealing ball all day long. The NYPD have. It's been their strength defensively, plus their ability to front up because of their power. But uh, Morris is just 
This is just so polished. They really are terrific. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in injury time now. This game will be uh, probably for another two minutes, three minutes. The ref has to tack on uh, a couple of minutes due to the injuries. Here comes a throw in. Again, uncontested line out, so Morris come down with it. Okay, the out half. Wow, great hands, great hands. What happened, they were offside, yeah, offside. Yeah, the police are offside. They have to back up when a kick comes out like that. So, Morris will have the ball. They gained about, probably about 15 meters due to that kick. Ref just checked his watch. Uh, Morris are gonna go for one more score here. Kick into touch is successful. Morris will have a line out. Uh, pretty good uh, attacking platform just at the uh, 10 meter line of the NYPD. Okay, so Morris about to throw the ball in. Okay, oh, it's a knock forward. Yeah, knock forward uh, to Morris by the NYPD. Tricky, tricky handling again. I know I've said it about 100,000 times today, but I cannot begin to tell you how blustery it is here today. <laughs> Not conducive to uh, clean handling of a, in a rugby match. Flanker went down, but he, it didn't affect play at all, so ref let it go. Wow, beautiful backs. These guys are terrific. Look at this. Oh, my God, he's still on his feet. He is still on his feet. How do you like that? He scored a try, let it go. Uh, okay, 41. In injury time, uh... Morris scored a long distance try, really lovely running, champagne rugby again. Uh, there was about six or seven passes in the sequence. It's now 41 to nil uh, with the, with the, what do you call it, with the, the shot of goal coming. So. Okay, that's a miss, and that's all she wrote, 41 to nil to the men in red. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the Lansdowne Old Boys v. Morris Old Boys. Take up. 
Oh. Uh oh. Lansdowne, uh, old boys uh, versus Morris, old boys. The kickoff was at 103. So here we go uh, on the attack of the lands on old boys. This is 
sustained pressure by Lansdowne caused uh, led to Marciodano. Uh, nice 10 meter dash down the sideline, bringing it in and putting Lansdowne up by five points to nil. And the kick at goal, uh, I'm not sure who the kicker is going to be. It might be Mark. Pat, do you know if this is uh, 20 minute halves as well? Yes, they're all 20 minutes. Okay. Make it? Nope, too short. Okay. Kick not good. Um, Lansdowne are up 5 0 at the uh, at the start. Um, we're only a couple of minutes in. Uh, let's see. Yep, two minutes in. Scott Crafton, oh my God. Go on, Stevie! Great ruck by Pat Devery. There goes Manus on the run. I actually played rugby with the Marisol boys um, in Castle Island. I mentioned at the beginning of the first game, and I know about half the guys that are out there today. Last time I played rugby, Pat, was with these guys uh, when I was 52. The Castle Island, we played against the Castle Island old boys. And in, in, in Kerry, that's where Castle Island is. Not far from the Limerick border. John Sutherland, scrum half. A little bit of an errant pass, so Mike Lee Petit tackling there. Held on to it, that's not a knock. Okay, some good stuff by, uh, I guess he'd be the outside center. Paul Intezzo is out there for Lansdowne, wow. Wow, really good passing. They're always well drilled, the uh, men from Mars. Okay, here comes Dylan Casey. Just bounce, still bouncing, still bouncing, still bounce. Tricky ball. Okay, kicks it into touch. That means it's going to be a line out to Lansdowne. Okay, Pat Devery, who built himself into being a great hooker because he had never played the position until his 20s, and then all of a sudden he became this fantastic hooker just for sheer will and intelligence and toughness. It's Pete Maloney making the ball available. Brings it out to, uh, that looks like uh, Joe Giordano. And there's another try. Wow. Wow. Okay. Minute six, Joe Giordano. Joe Giordano. <laughs> Joe Giordano. It's as if he had never left. Beautiful offload to Dylan, who slams it down. Mark missed. Uh, the score is 10 0 in the sixth minute, I think. Six. Yes, minute six. Uh, Lansdowne are up 10 0. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Jesus, Jared Murphy is here. Did you see Jared Murphy? Holy moly. I can't believe it, man. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, good, good. good. Yeah, good man yourself. <laughs> Rampaging Steve, there he goes. Rampaging Steve Murphy. Go on, you boy. That's it, making the ball available, Scott Crofton. There you go. Oh, oh wow, great defense by Morris. Okay, so Jojo down on Heads up, heads up. Okay, so it's going to be a line out to Morris. Uh, uh, yeah, um, you got to update the score. It's 10 0. Yeah, he was in the middle of the other thing. Okay, we're going to see a line out to the men uh, in red. It's going to be a Morris line out. Expertly. That was ex expertly disrupted by the lineout specialist, Mr. Paul Antezzo. Expertly, expertly disrupted. All right, so we have Joe Giordano going to kick. Oh, he kicked it infield. Wow. He kicked it infield. Again, the wind is swirling. A couple of kicks. Wow, superb kick by Dylan. Wow. Oh, that's going to go into the back. All right. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It appears that the ball may have been kicked out directly past the, uh, the back of the end goal. So the dead ball line, which would indicate it's going to be a scrum at uh, the middle of the pitch uh, to the men from New Jersey. The Morris men will get a scrum. Okay, quick push in. Okay, the ball comes out. Morris are on the attack. Okay, there's a tackle, but he gets back up again. Uh, there's a ruck. Clearance. Turns around. Runs into Ian. Gets shoved back a little bit. Uh, looks like Ian may have stolen the ball. There's Pat Devery, very active as always. Okay. A couple more moves. Uh, the men from Lansdowne are on the attack. Steve Murphy offloading it to Dylan Casey, offloading it to, that looks like uh, Steve Murphy again. That must have been Pat Daly back there. I'm sorry. Here comes Pat Devery doing what he does best, making space and knocking people around. Uh, and this looks like Manis O'Sullivan. Oh, uh, can't see. It might be held up. All right, so Pat Daly, Patty Daly in minute. Okay, there's another try. It's 15 now. In minute 10, really some beautiful offloads, really some great offloads. Dylan Casey was uh, involved in that one, and it was an offload, and the men from uh, Lansdowne just scored a try. It was Pat Daly, one of the legendary Lansdowne uh, old boys, scored a try. The score is now 15 to nil in minute 11 and the subsequent kick at goal so 15 points to nil and the kick is good so it is now 17 points to nil to Lanzan. <laughs> Boris oh he's here <laughs> <laughs> Another living legend. Hey, Johnny, Boris is here carrying a cooler. Oh, is he? <laughs> I asked him if he was coming. I was like, when does this guy get it? He probably just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably did. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs>
Heads up! Heads up! Heads up! <laughs> you okay? It was a kick, yeah. Am I sticking your way? Wow, great line. It's like they haven't stopped playing, the two of them. Perfect symmetry, the two of them. I swear to God. Oh, go on. Oh. No, I think uh, the ref is not going to let that stand. I think he wants to restart. Okay, sustained pressure again. Wow. Okay, minute 14. So I'm seriously sustained pressure. And what happens? The ball comes out to none other than Jared Murphy. Did I say that properly? Yes, I did. The score is now 22 points to nil with a uh, subsequent kick at goal. But the angle is tricky. I don't think it's going to be made. But it's 22 to nil now in minute 14. Hey, what's up, brother? How the hell are you? Not too bad, how are you? Everything okay? I'm delighted to see you coming out, man. Are you ready? Yeah, Charlie, you look like a million bucks, man. You look like you're ready to rock. The what? Oh, man, no, you look like you're ready to go. I'm telling you. Cheers. Make that kick? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I thought he made it. <laughs> oh, okay. No, you know how you know the flag comes up. The guy in the back of the end goal picks the flag up. That's how you know. If he goes like this, it's a miss. If he goes like this, it's good. Oh, yeah, he's going to get trampled at the touch there. Okay, it's uh, 24 to nil. The conversion was good by Mark. He's uh, doing a good job with the off the, to off the toe. So it's 24 points to nil. Okay, a line out now for the men in red. We have the expert line out, breaker upper, and he did it again. He did it again, Paul Intezzo. One of the greatest line out men I have ever seen. He always has a knack for coming down of our own and for disrupting the opposition. Oh, that was a bit of an obstruction, but I guess the defender wasn't close enough. Look at Steve Murphy go. He is up, oh, right through, there we go. A little uh, off the boot there, I guess he called. Okay, John Sutherland, he actually knocked that forward, but nobody saw anything, so it's all good. <laughs> okay, uh, the ref saw a lens on knock on, and now the men from Morris will have their shot at uh, the attack.
Okay, the men from Mars, really good uh, ball movement right now. Their wing is going to go in. Yep, he's going in. All right, so. Minute 17, um, Morris, uh, some probably about five offloads, really nifty stuff. And it's either their fullback or their winger ran it in from about 15 out. Really good stuff. So as of right now, the score is Lansdowne 24 and Morris 5. Misconversion, the score remains the same. Oh, that didn't go 10. No. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't go 10. <laughs> okay. Okay, on the attack, the Morris guys. Here we go. Good tackle by Manus. That was magnificent textbook stuff. Okay, Morris got driven back a little bit. Just a wee bit driven back. Pat, Pat Devery, who's all over the pitch as usual. Super in the loose, super in the scrums. And uh, wow, they bring it out wide again. Yeah, they do that again. There was a bit of an overlap. And Morris are gonna run it in again. How do you like that? All right, so. In minute 20, we're close to the end of the half. Minute 20, another long distance try for Morris. The score is now 24 points to 10. I don't think they're going to convert because it's a touchline. But having said that, 24 points to 10 to the men from uh, to Lansdowne. But Morris have just scored two tries consecutively. See, Jason, once the kicker begins his, his forward motion to kick at the ball, you're allowed to charge the ball down. That's okay. legal, okay. okay, because it's a conversion. On a penalty, it's like a free kick. The, nobody's allowed to charge the ball down until he kicks it, when, and it's useless to do it anyway at that stage. So here's a, here's a kickoff, okay. Uh, we're in the death right now. And Lansdowne are waiting for the ball to come out because the Morris guys are waiting to pass it out. And here we go. Excuse me. Lovely offload there by John. It looked like it went directly out there. It went directly out. It's it goes back. Oh, that's the halftime. Okay, everybody, the halftime, it's 24 to 10 to the, to the men from, uh, from uh, Yonkers. Lands on a rough 24 points to 10. See you in a few.
I met Joe at work. I had a brand new Camaro. He had a little Honda, or I, I don't know. We were leaving work one day and he said, uh, can I see your car, you know, the KC car? So he, he wanted to sit in it. He took it, he took it around the corner at work and then drove up to me, threw his keys out and said, follow me. So I had to follow him, followed him all the way home. <laughs> He told me on our, our first date he was going to marry me, that it, I would be a good mother. There was the competitiveness about him, too. Like, I didn't let him win at Scrabble. Save his ass just to bug me. And <laughs> he will always make jokes with my older daughter that daddy's going after the bad guys. I'm going to catch the bad guys. Because they used to like watching superhero movies. So dedicated to everything that he did. So being a dad just made him, I guess it made him a better person, but he was already a great guy. Oh, it was Easter week. Okay, I was a teacher, right? I was home. I said goodbye to him around 12 o'clock. He was going into work early. He was working for a friend. There was a routine fire. They use that word, routine fire, down by the Holland Tunnel. The fire had smoldered for a long time, but in went John and two young firefighters, Christopher Seidenberg and Jimmy Young. They hadn't even begun their lives yet. Nothing worked. They couldn't get water out of the hydrant. There was traffic by the Holland Tunnel. Holes were not put in the right place. And he had tried to knock through this big, heavy metal security door. It had been double bolted. He almost got it. Jimmy was dead. They didn't even recognize that he was a firefighter.
Uh, and the legend, Omahito Jones, scores a try to up the numbers to 29 to 10 to Lansdowne in minute 32. Oh, baby. Then we have another game after this. Yeah, it's exhilarating when you get a chance to play an old boys game, isn't it? Sorry? No, no, no. But everybody's like, yeah, I mean, everybody's playing their hearts out, though, which is a great thing. He's a great guy, John Sutherland. The last time I played was with these guys. Remember when Mike and I played the old boys? This is with them. Sutherland would be a friend of mine, actually. Great guy. That's a knock forward. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who is this guy, number 13, here with the beard? Do you recognize him? No. Me neither. Unbelievable. My back weren't screwed. I'd be out there playing today. Damn it. No, at the injury, that's it. I'd ended everything. Go on, Charlie. That's it, Charlie. Go! 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 What an awful load. Oh! Where'd Charlie come out of? Sorry? Where'd Charlie come out of? Charlie is from England. He was our coach for two or three seasons. Very nice guy. He played at a very high level in England. I forget who he played for, but for somebody really, really, really good. Is he coaching Fordham Prep? Because I saw you the Fordham Prep shirt on. He was, I think he coached there for a while. You'd have to ask him, but I'm pretty... I think he still might be there. Yeah, he, great coach, great guy. We love Charlie. But, you know, he, he moved on. So... But that was a great run. I'm going to have to mention that on the uh, match report if we score a try here. So. <laughs> Pat Devery, magnificent. You know, Pat, when he first started playing, he was, a, he was like a back. He was a winger in a center. Yeah. And then somebody, because he's, you know, he's, a, he's obviously a fitness fanatic, which he is. He's always in superb shape. So somebody said, why don't you give Hooker a try? So he built himself. He didn't start playing the position until he was in his 20s, and he made himself into a great hooker. How do you like that, huh? The guy who, the, the guy who was uh, the, the hooker who was throwing in? Uh, yeah. Pat the Baker, yeah. Yep. Made himself into a great player. I tell you, he's smart, you know, the guy's got a man, you know, he's a smart guy and very smart man. Hmm? Isn't he also military? Am I wrong about that? Was that Scott? Scott's, Scott's military. Was Pat military? Is Pat military? I don't think so. I don't think he ever was. Okay, there's a, uh, I guess Lansdowne must have knocked it forward because it's going to be a scrum. Fortunately, I missed the sequence of play for a minute there. It's on the other side of the pitch anyway. I couldn't see it clearly. No, he's the only one I don't know out there, but... Okay, all right. Cheers, bud. Okay, Morris is on the attack again. Nice offload. Uh, there's Omeido slowing down the action. Manis takes him down with Omeido. And uh, there's a ruck. Manis gets the ball back. Offloads to... Looked like rampaging Steve Murphy. And now... Let's see, who is that? That Oh, wow, what an offload. Oh, man. Sustained attack here, but... A breakdown. Uh, let's see. I have a bad angle. I can't see that well. Uh, Lansdowne committed some kind of uh, uh, infraction. I don't know what it was. Okay, now 10 meters are up. Great tackle by Joe Giordano. Uh, let's see. Good ruck by Morris. Okay, there's. I think that's still in fighting with the ball there. Um, there's a wee bit of a... Yep, being stood up. So technically that's a maul. And... The ref's going to have to say use it or lose it very shortly. So, no, there's just a.
Oh, the ref said use it. But who has the ball to use? <laughs> it is the question. He's getting ready to call. Oh, it's a Lansdowne ball. Okay. Water's been wreaking havoc with the ball, and the wind has, too. We don't have any more balls? Yeah, I'm going to have to use that one. And that ball is, like, slippery. It was greasy, as they like to say in Ireland. That's how they say it. Greasy. The ball's greasy. This is great. I'm glad to see so many people out today. It's the way it should be. There's Faye. Hi, Faye. You know what it is? It's a big deal, too, that Paul and Tesla started up the youth rugby. So, I mean, I think they have 50 kids signed up. And it's so great because it gets everybody involved. I, you know, hopefully the club will sustain itself over the years because we're having problems producing numbers. Yeah, no, it's, even for this game, I don't think we have great numbers. Okay, we knocked it forward. Let's see what's left. Can't be much left. Oh, man, there's only like two minutes. That's it. It's just great to see everybody out again. You know, Jerry came down, he moved to a little further upstate, and it's great to see him come out and... Omeido's here. I haven't seen ja see Jared Jared uh, Murphy's on the other side. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's it, Ome. Slow him down. Yep. Oh, well, run him back into traffic. There you go. Who's ball? I was just hanging out with John. Half these guys, I was in uh, I was in Cork for the Munster Crusaders game, so they had an event, so we all went to it. That was that was ridiculously great. Mike went to it too. The two of us. All right. Just in case it starts again, but yeah. <sighs> that's it, Charlie. Beautiful. Yeah, the pressure. Yeah. Ah, Joe's hurt. Oh, you kidding me? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank God he's not hurt. Uh, people have to go to work on Monday. All right, so Mark is going to try a quick tap. The ball is loose. I think the ball now is back. Oh, he called a, oh damn, he's hurt.
Guys have to go to work. I don't see anybody getting hurt. Okay, land sound. Uh, okay, so. At the death, uh, sustained pressure in uh, Ian O'Connor runs it in. Um, converted try by Mock. Scores 36 to 10 at the depth, and the game is over. 36 to 10 to Lansdowne. For the finale, we have uh, Morris Men versus Lansdowne Men. Take the lead. Bit unexpected there. The draw. Seba, nice. Nice touch and go for the cross. Can I get this in? He goes in the net! An equalizer from Adam Marku! Oh, take it down. Saved, but with the rebound, block saved again. He takes the same direction, but he converts. Lands down. Up 1 0. Staying true to the possession game. Good dribble there from Kyle Galloway. Still got it, still driving. Shot, a save, and a deflection. And a goal. Another one from Liam Salmon. He said he wanted to score a goal almost every game. He's close to that. Quick transition there from Nyack. He's driving it down the left. Looks like he's going to try to pass it for a volley. And they get him. They pull one back. Nice drive down the left. Finish. And it's what a goal! Beautiful header there off a of Kyle Galloway cross, headed in by Alexander Kaknashwood. Kaksash was looking for that hat trick. Can he get it?
The kickoff is at 155. 155 is the kickoff. That's a knock. Yeah, well, we came down with it, so. There goes Liam ma making some ground. Eamon passes it off to Geraldo. Okay. A little bit of a push. Offload by Eamon, too. Uh, that looks like Owen Foynes, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, here's another breakdown. Okay. Owen Murphy goes straight forward, gains a few meters. Lovely run by him. Uh, I don't know who that is. And that looks like Leo. I believe it's Leo making a few more meters. Okay, here we go. Another pass, pass. That looks like our friend, Mr. Nick Yuan. Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? What's cooking? Okay, here we go. Geraldo again. Geraldo, oh my God. He's practically unstoppable with going in. Okay, lands down right now. Uh, been awarded a penalty. So, our own Shawnee Stones is going to be kicking a goal, which he does. Great kick. Uh, this is going to give Lance on a very effective platform to make an attack here. <sighs> Lance on have it in deep. It looks like they're only about 10 meters out. And it's going to be a line out to Lance on, led by the irrepressible Nick Yuan. The ball's up. The line-out is good. It looks like uh, Shawnee Stones on the attack. Gained several meters. Thunderous run by Mr. Stones. Ball's made available. Eamon brings it out again. And, <coughs> excuse me, please. Uh, the wind is acting up again. You probably can't hear me, but I will make my attempt to get through. Uh, we have a ruck again. No, it's a mall, actually. It's a mall. Um, I don't know who has possession. Did Morris get ball back? I don't know. Lansdowne, no. Lansdowne had it. Pass. Morris defense very good here. Very quick. Uh, the referee saw something he didn't like on the part of Morris. So Lansdowne have um, a some kind of advantage. I trained enough of that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Lansdowne dropped it twice. It looks like it's going to be a knock forward. Yes, it is. Wait a minute. Okay, so we have a scrum to the men in black. Oh no, it's not to the men in black, it's the men in red. Bring it out wide. Um, not, not, not space, but the man made space. Nice run. He uh, juked out probably about three defenders, <coughs> gave a little bit of space for Morris to continue their attack. They didn't have to kick it out yet. Number eight, thunderous run. Finally tackled by Nick Yuan. It's a breakdown. Uh, Morris are gaining ground. A couple of really, really, really lovely runs. They're at the halfway line, but the referee saw something on the part of Morris that he did not like. So Lansen have the ball back. Okay, Shoney Stones kicks the ball into touch. Lansdown will have a line out. A uh, pretty good attacking position. They're inside the uh, the 10 of Morris. Okay. 
Okay, Nick Yuan gets set to throw the ball in. Again, a swirling wind. Oh, wow. Lenzon came down with the ball again. Nick has been irrepressible. Really good throws. And very catchable balls, too. He's not throwing the ball too hard. Just enough spin. There goes Geraldo again. Wow. The referee didn't like uh, the hands on the ruck situation there. Okay, so. <sighs> Minute seven leads to an infringement by Morris. So uh, Mr. Stones is about to take the kick at goal. is good uh, by uh, Sean Stones. Lansdowne take a 3-0 uh, lead. 3-0, Jason. Yeah. <sighs> oh, this shouldn't be here at the senior way. Put this over here somewhere uh, on the other side. It's yeah, it's perfect. Just where, it, just so it's out of the way, because we get. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Trey. Cheers. All right. So, uh, okay. Ball to Lansdowne. Okay. So, Mr. Sean Stones will be kicking. Makes an impeccable kip, kick into touch, thereby giving Lansdowne a line out, uh, a good attacking platform, approximately just inside the 10, so let's call it about 35 meters from goal. Okay, so. All right, another impeccable line out from the boys in black. There goes Nick Yuan. Uh, the referee saw something that he did not like on the part of Lansdown. So. so it is a penalty to the men from Mars. Oh, he might do a quick tap. Oh, maybe not. It worked for them the game in the NYPD. He still might do it. Very smart. They're really, really such a smart team. That ball might be. Okay, so Mars have a great attacking platform now. They're about to throw it in from about 10 meters out of the end goal. Got to retain the ball. Oh, there was a uh, little topsy turvy line out, but the men from Mars came down with it. Okay. All right, it's a little bit disheveled in there. The ball is all over the place due to the weather. Nick, you want again? Great tackle. Nick is. Okay, the ref didn't saw something he didn't like by Lansdowne. So it's going to be a penalty, the men read. Okay, good tackle. 
Uh, Morris is still on the attack. The ball came out. Uh, that Snyder knocked forward and went backwards. Still Morris ball. Okay, here we go. The ball bounced. Took a tricky bounce. Okay, the referee has given possession to Lansdowne due to a knock forward by the men in red. Okay, the ball goes in. Big scrum. Morris. It's a knee to the head. Okay. Great scrum by Morris. Shoved Lansdowne back, but Lansdowne managed to come down with the ball. The pressure was relieved by... The pressure was relieved by Mr. Stones. Ian! Thanks, bud. Cheers. Okay, lovely. Absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely uh, line out again by Lansdowne. Lansdowne will come down with the possession, of, I mean, by Mars, but Lansdowne has stolen the ball. Stones, another terrific kick into touch. The kicking game has been clicking all day, and that's due to the uh, terrific abilities of Mr. Stones. So now we have a line out. Uh, Mr. Nick Yuan is about to throw the ball in. Again, the wind playing havoc. And a successful line out to Lansdowne. Okay, Liam brings it out. And now uh, Geraldo is on the rampage. And there's a bit of a ruck. Uh, by both teams to compete in the ruck. Another ruck. That's the second phase of the sequence. And let's see who has the ball. I think Liam. Liam Gleason. The referee saw something from Morris he didn't like, so he blew the whistle. Really bad conditions today. Okay, it's going to be...
Kenza will have a line out. Very good attacking platform. Mr. Nick Yuan is getting set to throw. Throws it in. Lin Zanov comes out with the ball. Um, we are talking Connor McCarthy still has possession. After receiving his old line out, he just gained about eight or nine meters. And they are very close, Lansdowne. And here we go. Uh, there was a dummy there, but the scrum half saw it. So, oh, there goes Eamon. Yes. Eamon is in. I forget Eamon's last name. I believe it's Connolly. Okay. So, and it's 17. Minute 17, sustained pressure. Uh, Land Sound were putting the uh, meat to uh, Morris. And what happened was Eamon, I believe Eamon's last name is Connolly. Eamon came down with the try. And what he did was he uh, added to the lead. It is now eight points to th eight points to nil to Land Sound with the kick at goal from Mr. Stones. And it is good. Okay. Oops. Mr. Stone's kick is good. The score is 10 points to nil to Lansdowne. The weather is getting crappy. Jesus. Love the intercept. I don't see who that is, but ah. Uh, Jason, something, do you know what that is? This isn't coming off, I don't know what that is. Oh, come on.
Okay, we're at the half. This is half time. Was it just a score? I, I don't know what happened. I met Joe at work. I had a brand new Camaro. He had a little Honda, I, I don't know. We were leaving work one day and he said, uh, can I see your car, you know, the key see car? So he, he wanted to sit in it. He took it, he took it around the corner at work and then drove up to me, threw his keys out and said, follow me. So I had to follow him, followed him all the way home. <laughs> he told me on our, our first date, he was gonna marry me that he, I would be a good mother. There was a competitiveness about him too, like I didn't let him win at Scrabble. Save his ass just to bug me. And <laughs> He will always make jokes with my oldest daughter that daddy's going after the bad guys. I'm gonna catch the bad guys. Cause they used to like watching superhero movies. So dedicated to everything that he did. So being a dad just made him I guess it made him a better person, but he was already a great guy. Oh, it was Easter week. Okay, I was a teacher, right? I was home. I said goodbye to him around 12 o'clock. He was going into work early. He was working for a friend. There was a routine fire. They use that word, routine fire, down by the Holland Tunnel. The fire had smoldered for a long time, but in went John and two young firefighters, Christopher Seidenberg and Jimmy Young. They hadn't even begun their lives yet. Nothing worked. They couldn't get water out of the hydrant. There was traffic by the Holland Tunnel. Holes were not put in the right place. And he had tried to knock through this big, heavy metal security door. It had been double bolted. He almost got it. Jimmy was dead. They didn't even recognize that he was a firefighter at first. Christopher died the next morning. John's burned over 65% of his body very, very deeply. Nobody expected him to live it. You know, as he laid in the hospital those 40 days, except the people that knew him. They were doing the 12th surgery at the time he died. He would have had a, a really, really challenging life. My father was a police officer. My husband's father was a fireman. His brother was a fireman. All our friends were cops and firemen. That was our life. Well, on September 11th, it was election day, school day. I put my two kids on the bus, Joe and Jim, and I came home with John. The FedEx guy told me that the Twin Towers was just hit by a plane. I immediately went into my, my sergeant and said, I have to go into Manhattan. My husband's not answering the phone. My friend from the precinct, Susie, said, Commissioner Dunn is looking for you. So we went to police headquarters and when I got there, my parents were there, my in-laws were there. That's when they told us that they were missing. They found Joe about October 18th or 19th. I sat the kids down and told them that uh, their father was dead. My husband was part of the NYPD for 17 years. When COVID hit, I was very nervous about it. I, when he would come home, I would be spraying, asking him to take everything in the garage. One night, he told me that I think my partner had COVID. So I think I had been exposed. 
So I said, okay, so I'm gonna have to go with the girls so you, that you could have the whole house to yourself. And the whole time I watched him on FaceTime. He texted me one morning. He said, I can't get out of bed. His oxygen was still not where it needed to be for them to hospitalize him. He battled with COVID about two, two and a half weeks. I meditate and I think about my feelings and I cry if I need to. And then when I go to bed, I say, oh, there was purpose. George had one. Uh, who else? I don't know. I'd have to go. I'd have to look at the recording. I don't know. Okay, we're up and running. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, Lance on back on the attack again. Lovely ball by Sean Stones. Nice pass. Lands on it deep again. Okay. Lands on have an attacking platform deep in again. Sorry about the delay, everybody. There was a technical problem. But uh, fortunately, we're up and out running again. Jason here is uh, magnificent at what he does, and he sorted the problem out. Lands on now are attacking, but there is a really contentious mall. Now it's a ruck. Uh, let's see. And the guy's laying on top of the ball. I don't know. So in minute twenty four, uh, Sean Stone's making an attempt at goal. No, it's 19. It's uh, 26, actually, minute 27. Sean Stone's.
Made it. Okay. 16 nil. Okay, in minute 27, Lansdowne have up the lead to 20 to uh, 16 to nil as Sean Stone's successful on the kick. 16, yep. So uh, the kickoff goes back to Lansdowne. Leo, great job, Leo. Okay, that kick did not go 10. It's going to be a scrum to lands down at midfield. Again, the wind is destroying the kicks. And handling has been sloppy as well. Footing has been awful. gets rolled in. There we go. Uh-oh. Wow, went back. I'm shocked. Now look at Shoney Stones go. <coughs> Great ruck. Okay. Okay, Sean Stones again um, has continued his really, really, really efficient kicking. Just whacked the ball down. Um. He's given Lansdowne another platform for attack. Very close to the end goal. The thrower is going to be our own Nick. Nick Yuan. Another successful line out. Um. Here we go. Ball's out. Shawnee on the attack again. Uh, ball goes to ground. Ball's made available, comes out. Attack, that looks like George again. Okay, lands on a right in front of goal. Uh, making the ball available as a ruck. Okay, to Shawnee. Might be turned over. Nope. Oh, and. Uh. Do you guys know who that is? <laughs> Kevin? Kevin, okay. Kevin, oh me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kevin, a newcomer. I don't know. It was a well worked try. Lansdowne have just upped the numbers to 20, uh, 21 to nil. And Mr. Stones is going to take another shot at goal. Um, and this one is in minute. Uh, this one's in minute. Uh, 32. <laughs> the wind blew that one all over the pitch. It's a miss, but the score is now 21 points to nil. And we are at minute 32.
Okay, uh, Morris are on the attack now. Bit of an overlap there, but uh, the defense was very good. Resolute by Lansdowne. There's a breakdown for Morris. They bring it out. Uh, the number eight gets tackled. Here's another uh, phase. The hooker offloads to one of the props, who is subsequently tackled. Uh, the referee just made the call. It looks like it was a high tackle. That's what I believe it was uh, on the other side of the pitch here, but which will make it a penalty. So that means they'll kick it into touch and work with the line out. Oh no, quick tap. Hey, they might switch it, you never know. Here's a tackle, he's down. Uh, another phase, first phase of this sequence. Uh, the referee saw something he didn't like from the part of Lansdown, so there was an advantage here. Here's another tackle, oh, still up, he's still up. Their out half, out half is really good. The Mars out half has been outstanding all day long. Okay, here's another pass. Uh, let's see, another tackle. There's another, another uh, something that the ref did not like from Lansdowne. So here we go again. was tackled, he was unable to offload it. There was a bit, there wasn't much. Eamon, I think Eamon's last name is Connolly, I'm not sure. Okay, the rain in Spain is falling mainly on the plains here. It's Jared, well done, lad. Well done. So what we have here is, uh, Lanzano gonna kick it out. Nicely done, bud. That was great. Great performance. Oh, fuck. Whoo, baby. Another day in paradise, huh? Perfect Scottish weather. Scotland. Okay, so. About five minutes left. Mr. Stone's going to kick the ball out. And he does successfully. Heads up. Kevin, the kid who scored that yeah, try. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So many new guys. I have no idea who these people are. What's Eamon's last name? Connolly, right? The scrum half? Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> 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 scrum half. The, the what? No, no. Uh, the scrum half, not the out half. That's Eamon, right? Well, no, nine's Owen. I thought he was in 10. No, uh, no Owen's Owen playing nine. Who's playing 10? Is that uh, Caffrey, that's his last name. Caffrey, thanks. I always forget. Jesus. What's his last name? Oh, okay. Hey, Mark. Yeah. I'm giving you all the gear when this is done, yes. right? All right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. All right, so. Wow. Uh. Shawnee Stones is going for a penalty from just inside the halfway line. Uh, 
My friend, that if he makes this kick, it's a miracle. But he's got a tremendous boot on him, so the possibility exists that he might. I mean, this is far. Holy moly. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> In minute 38, uh, Shawnee Stones kicks the ball from just inside the halfway line. And that will put the numbers up to, uh, let's see, 24 to nil to Lansdowne. What a kick by Mr. Stones. Oh, it's high tackle, yeah. Okay, we are approaching the witching hour. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in. We're in the final throws of the match here. Game's over, yeah. We're uh, we're in injury time now, Jason. This is it. Well, it's not, no rain, but.
That's it. So what was the final? 24 nil. 24 nil is the final. I gotta bring a chair. I gotta bring a chair. That's Thank you. 